Health officials have been warning that this day was coming, and tonight, Southwest Virginia has its first confirmed case of COVID-19. Here's what we know about the patient so far. She's a woman in her 80s who lives in Botetourt County. She's at Carilion Roanoke Memorial Hospital tonight. The woman was admitted to the hospital Monday with symptoms and immediately put into isolation. Her test came back positive today and Carilion immediately reached out to the Virginia Department of Health. The Department of Health is now investigating who else this person came in contact with. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer is live at Roanoke Memorial Hospital tonight. And Shane, how's she doing? Brittany and John, the Carilion Hospital tells us that this patient, this woman is in serious condition. I want to read for you word for word what that means so that people have a full understanding of that. That means that her vital signs may be unstable and her outcome is questionable. She remains this evening in a special isolation unit just for COVID-19 patients. Now, while this is the first positive case here in the Roanoke Valley, Southwest Virginia and here at Roanoke Memorial Hospital, Carilion says it still has 102 other patients waiting for their results to come back. Southwest Virginians can no longer lean on the fact that there are no confirmed COVID-19 cases in the area. Carillion announcing Thursday, Roanoke Valley's patient zero is among us and how much contact she had in the community is unknown. The test was sent to a commercial lab on Monday. The positive result was received today, March 19th. That result was immediately shared with Virginia Department of Health. The patient is a woman in her 80s who lives in Botetourt County. She was admitted to the hospital on Monday with the right symptoms, immediately taken to isolation and tested, which went to a lab brought online to keep up with the demand. Carillion has tested 172 patients for COVID-19. There have been 69 negative results, one positive result, and 102 results are pending. The Virginia Department of Health is investigating how the woman contracted the virus and is determining who else is at risk. It's unclear if any of the about 100 hospital employees who have been quarantined had an exposure with this specific patient. Carillion says it's releasing any positive tests as soon as it gets them. And now is the time for the region to double down on social distancing and hand washing. And tonight, Shane, do we know if this person had a direct contact with any other patient? Brittany and John, that is the question that the Virginia Department of Health is trying to determine at this point. Was this a direct contact or was this community spread? Obviously, the latter is much more serious. That would mean that the community is at a greater risk for it if it is community spread at this point. That's how the one case in the Tidewater region happened with that first gentleman who died. They were unknown sources of where he contracted the virus. And at that point, that is the big remaining question that the Department of Health is trying to figure out and get those answers for the community. Community, Brittany. All right, thanks so much. Shane Dwyer reporting live for us tonight.